he breaking shells? Should be out one. Hi guys, uh, I'm Matthew, who you might have forgotten about. Yeah, what are you doing here? And what have you done with the nobody who usually helps me out? Well, this is not my house, so I'm here. That's not my house either, but I'm still here. Yeah, exactly. So, yes, we're at my parents' house, and um, we're going to fix my outlaw. This is a two-man job. It's not. He just insists on being the video. Because people have been asking, where the hell is this guy? Why is he getting all the credit? Oh, or any credit. Leave it alone, mate. Um, so, my outlaw's broken. And every outlaw owner who's ever had an outlaw for more than five minutes probably recognises this breakage. Not me though. With a rear track control arm. I'm not that. Or the rear, rear swing arm rather is um. Yeah, you've uh, fair broken it. Yes, it's there's a wee bit, there's there's a bit of an issue there. Um, this this it's so common because could you go into that bag and get the the chassis? Is that the chassis. Yes, you've got to wait months for these. I ordered this about six months ago and it came into stock about a week before this video was recorded and people have been waiting for ages. This is the metal chassis, the aluminium chassis to replace the plastic one. There is a carbon fibre one as well, but it's a ten or more than this and I don't trust the carbon fibre because there's so little material, that's why it's broken, right? So little material here that it just breaks away. It's nice that... Impact. It's nice that the brushless model, which isn't what you have, but you have a brushless system now. Yes. Uh, matches your shell. You know, a nice blue anodized ch chassis. Yeah, I didn't want a blue chassis. chassis. I think it looks garish. I don't like it at all. But it's the only option. If it, if it came in steel coloured, that'd be perfect. Yeah. But uh, you, you, you won't mind this. You've got the blue shell. No, I've got, I've got and to be honest, it does match the shocks, so I guess. Oh, and it's not... With the... It's... What? It's, oh, yeah, I don't understand that. I don't know why it's got a receiver box. I was going to ask two questions. First of all, why is this two piece? You can see it's two piece, right? Because you can unscrew it. You can't do it on the plastic one. The plastic one's one piece. So that's got two piece, but you cannot buy this part and this part separately. You can only get them in one. So why is this two piece? Because it makes no sense. And why does it come with a receiver box? Like, I don't understand it. It's, it's a different receiver box to that. So maybe it's got a slightly different chassis layout. Maybe. Maybe. Don't know. But anyway, um, you know all you need to do now is to fit a steering cycle here. Now you can have independent rear steering. No, it'd be. I've got passive rear steering, right? It's fine. Yeah, but passive. you can't control that. If you put passive! Servo, yeah, but if you put a servo there, then you can control it. So, what we're going to do today is I'm going to have to take this apart, take this all to pieces, and Matthew is going to repair the damage I did to my body shell. Yeah, I've got the hard part. Because uh, you should see the spare wheel should be mounted there, but it isn't. Right. Yes, so we've had to reposition the camera. Yeah. Also, my old man came in and interrupted, so we're starting again. Well, no, we didn't start again, but we're picking up from where we left off. Where we left off. <sighs> Why'd you move the table away over there? So, yes, it's got a different receiver box. So it comes with that. I don't know what the, the thinking is behind that or the split here. Why it's two piece, but it's two piece. So we have this. So is it, is that going? Isn't it going to fill your wishbones? No, no, it's going to be perfect. It's going to be a... It, okay, it's maybe got a little bit of droop um, control. You maybe reduce the droop on the, on the axles. You see that the axles have got a fair amount of droop, not too much. But there's sort of tabs here and here that might stop the droop a little bit. You know what would have been handy if it came with a file? So you could file them off. I'm not going to file them off. It's my nice blue thing which will be all scratched up and have to use it first time. No, it's not. It's going to be a shell you can see. You can see... Um, there's not much material there. That's why the plastic one flails, because that's all that it's got. So it snaps away. Hopefully this will be stronger. It is quite thick and strong. Pretty good. Yeah. So we'll give it a shot. I'm going to use that one, and you can use. That yeah. Piece. So while he's fixing that, he, that I have the the task of fixing your shell and reattaching your spare wheel. Have you shown them where it's broken yet? So it's pulled through. You'll that's the see, thing. You'll see here. This has got a lovely wee split here, you see that? So, I need to attach a wheel to that, which is just attached with a little flange, a little screw at the back of it. So, maybe a wee bit mighty faster, so we'll cowboy job this one. No, we won't. We'll do it properly. 
but it means he's going to have to take, actually it's more difficult than it looks because the cage, some of the screws for the cage is behind the body shot. Yeah, so, so there, there's a, to get this off, there's a screw that's in the side here, yeah, so you're going to have to fold the shell out of the way and unscrew it to basically disassemble this rear part. Yeah, and by the way, the, the spare, the new rear part is in the back. Oh, so you do have a new part for it? Oh yeah, well, it wasn't, yeah, there'd be no point in fixing it if the part's not there, is it? I thought you were going to carry my job then. No. No cowboy jobs here. Oh, there's an outlaw. Oh, you're just getting that. Oh, you just told another pun. Honestly, you <laughs> with your puns, I cannot... St he does it all the time. Right, I'm going to just get cracking. And did you see how uh, <laughs> non-central the back sticker on my FDX shell is? I talked about previously how the, uh, the quality control for FDX isn't great, considering some of my stickers on this shell have been put on upside down and people didn't notice the people who put it together. Well, the sticker on the back is supposed to be central. <laughs> Maybe if you've got a squint. No, even if you've got a squint, that's, that's never going to be in the middle. My broken bit was more central, out of pure fluke. Yeah. Do you not just not put the spare wheel back on and put a sticker over that? Actually, to be honest, the car will probably go better without the spare wheel on the back of it. Less drag. Well, it's not just that, it's got all the weight on the back of it and it's high up. It might have been designed to be well balanced with the spare wheel. I doubt it. All this thing's been designed to do is look like the Axial Yeti. I happen to know the FTX don't make that much care. I mean, let's be honest, I do like FTX, to be honest. I mean, you get quite a lot of your money, but the old FTX hooligan, the rally car, you couldn't even put the body clips in at the right height for the shell because the body clips would stab in at the windscreen. Yeah, well, there's been nothing wrong with mine. I mean, I've Apart from the fact that your radio gear I've not had any range problems at all. Yeah. Not at all. It's not like he has a six foot range on his brush as outlaw. Yeah, you've got to be pretty quick to work, mate. Right, <laughs> yeah, he's a I got it. <laughs> you got it. Got it. It's uh, so it's good. You're welcome. You've got those pliers for you. So, yeah, I'm finished. All right, nice. Good. You can help by holding that. I hold it. <laughs> Check the splits there, so it's not that either. I don't know why it's too. I think it's maybe just for ease, it's an afterthought, and it's like whoever's designed this part has thought it's maybe easier if you ever want to take the front end apart that it's easier to disconnect all the thing. I mean, I can, you can get in the death. I think I think maybe it's for maintenance, you can get in at the death. Yeah, that makes You don't need to take the, the whole, that's what will be, the whole chassis plate, you don't need to take that off. If you're really getting to the death, you just take that one off. That's what will be. Yeah. So you get extra ease of maintenance in with the metal one. Right, so reverse what I did a minute ago. 10 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago. The screws are all nice and snug on it. You need to line that up. What? It's not quite line. It's all right, it'll line, it'll line. It's just a bump, it's just a front bumper. Yeah, nobody cares about the front bumper. No, the front bumper doesn't do anything. Never, I never hit anything ever in the history of ever with a front bumper, ever. Ever. Oh yeah! Get away! We're we'll getting my way. This isn't working. What are you doing? Why don't I? Why don't I do this thing? Right, that makes more sense. Yeah, have a screw. Oh, no, that's screw. No, that's too too many. Too too many. Oh no! You got that? In the crack? No, it's there. Where? Yeah. What in the crack? That wouldn't be the crack. What, do you want to... You're in the way. You're, in the You're way. not helping, it's a fault. If I even this build take longer, this oh, repair yeah. take longer, this project take longer. This video take longer, oh, that was close. <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe FDX have put the wrong size of screw in near the front. Let's talk about that quality control again. Um, because I have four screws at the front, and two of them are in, and one of them is longer than the other three. <laughs> That's fine. One of the screw holes is deeper than the rest. Yeah, that's the right explanation. Not yeah. the fact that somebody, yeah, it's probably the same body who put the stickers on backwards, upside down, and not in the middle. Listen, you're giving that guy a hard time. That guy. He's just doing his job. Yeah, really poorly. You don't know what happened that day. Something True. could have happened. Maybe he broke his FTX. Maybe then he was in a bad mood. Yeah.
So that's the brushless system and it goes really well. It does, yes. It's the Gul RC. Oh. Oh. Nothing wrong with that. It's not lightning quick, but it's not really that sort of truck, is it? No, but I reckon off-road that'll be incredible. That'd be awesome, fun. Yeah. And as we were saying, it, it's, it's a pretty capable little thing, so... Not the tarmac, it's not. It's trying to overtake. Oh, what happened there? Don't you break, don't you break that spare part I put back on. <laughs> All of a sudden I had about 50 more horsepower. <laughs> <laughs> that was your lipo in its burst mode. Aye. I'm actually, this lipo, this lipo, um, he's still, that thing was, I charged it on balance charge, this lipo. And I then, I put it on just pure balance for over an hour and it's still got 4.2 volts on one side and 3.8 on the other. It's completely unbalanced. So, yeah. But I've not used it enough. It's a bit like the um, torque twist on this. Yeah, completely unbalanced. I bet, let's have a look and see if my shiny new chassis is still shiny new. Oh, no. That's fine. It has a scuff. I like these little trucks though. I think they're good. I really do think they're good. I know a lot of people criticise FTX for being cheap and nasty, and some of them are. But yeah, but, yeah, but not even that. Like, I mean, it wasn't massively expensive. Quite cheap. And also, they are good looking little trucks. Oh. And it's a lot more fun when you chuck a nice wee brush system in there. It is, although we had a total giggle on the road with the brush system, just because they kept them falling over, ah uh, yeah, all the time. Yeah, and it was probably pretty funny watching me chase around after my truck just to keep it in range. I know, that's t that is a problem with your one, yeah. yeah. You need to get that Although we have came up with a solution that we're going to use my uh, crawler's radio gear and put yeah. it in the outlaw. Yeah, we'll swap them over. It's not, like, it's not like my crawler is going to outrun me. Yeah, it's not going to run away. You don't really drive a tra crawler at any sort of range. Yeah. Incidentally, that's what I've done with my crawler because my crawler has some faulty radio system in it as well. Yeah. Although I don't know if you can keep up with your crawler. You know, you're pretty slow. Oh. Right, well, uh, that's us then, I suppose. That's uh, all it is for today. Our, my, FT, my FTX Outlaw is back running properly again. With this nice shiny new chassis. And you're and welcome. And you're welcome. Thank you, man. Yeah. And it's only just a matter of time until he needs the same upgrade. Because nah. everybody breaks them. I'm not going to chassis slap like he does. You'll see. You'll see. <laughs> Take care. We'll see you soon. Right, see you later.